Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back for another reading. Um, today we're going to be reading for, um, I know this is not his real name, but um, Asani? Hey, and Sony? I'm Sony? You know who you are. I'm going to be reading for him. Um, he hit me up on Snapchat. He's actually a mutual, we have mutual friends. Um, Sky. <laughs> So, um, if you guys would like your birth charts read, um, my contact, everything to contact me is in the description. Get them now while it's, while it's free because I'm going to start posting prices probably at the end of the week. Actually, not even probably. I will do it at the end of the week. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, make sure you subscribe. You should have already did that when you clicked the video. But here we go. I'm going to show you your chart. I hope it's blown away. See, it's blown away. Okay. So, this is you. Your sun is Scorpio. Your moon and Mercury is Sagittarius. Your Venus is Virgo. Your Mars is Scorpio. And your ascendant is Leo. And if we take a look over here, your masculine energy is three and your feminine energy is seven. Okay. All right. See me? Can you see me? Okay, you should be able to. All right, so let's get started. Now, your sun sign is who you are. It's your personality, um, and it's in Scorpio. So Scorpio is a feminine sign. Its element is water. Its quality is fixed. Now you have fixed, you have mutable, and then you have cardinal. So fixed is like, well, for one, it's Scorpio. People with fixed have is. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. It's like you have a set plan. You, you don't. It's not easy for you to adapt to things because it's like you're so set in your ways. You kind of already know what you want to do. Actually, not even kind of. You know what you want to do, and you don't divert from the plan unless you want to. So the best example is let's say you have errands to run, and let's say you you are a sign who has the fixed quality. You're like, okay, so you, you got, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. You don't divert, you don't, you have a list of things that you have to do, and you don't cherry from that list. You don't stop, you don't start to do anything else or complete anything else, any other task until that task is complete. So, really focus. You guys are focused for the most part. You can be. Mutable is, um, my nose is itchy. <laughs> Mutable signs is, like mutable qualities, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, and Sagittarius. We are the opposite of fix. I say we because I'm a Gemini. So mutable signs or mutable qualities, the opposite of fix. There is no plan. It's easy for them to adapt. They change a lot. They change over time. Not even over time. Like I seem like over a quick amount of time, they they, they tend to switch. Um, it's hard to keep up with, with the mutable quality. So take the same example of you running errands. This is literally a mutable, someone with the quality of mutable. They're running errands. Oh wow, there's a Taco Bell right here. Oh wow, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go and have Taco Bell. And then as soon as they leave from Taco Bell, they could either be like, okay, let's continue back with what we have to do, or they might just call it a day and then start, oh, start again the next day. Because they wing everything that they do. If they even have plans, they don't even plan on doing anything. <laughs> You know, and then cardinal, uh, the cardinal quality is Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, and Libra. Cardinal quality is all about action, hard work, the most hard working, putting, most dedicated, put everything, they're all into everything they do. So if they have errands to run, run, not only are they going to complete the task, but they're going to do it so swell, they're going to feel so proud at the end of the day. So, that's the best way I can describe the qualities. Hope that kind of makes sense. Um, so, it's polar opposite, it's Taurus. And they say you're supposed to end up marrying your polar opposite. I don't know if that's true, because a lot of Tauruses, and I know, and a lot of Scorpios that I know, that know each other, they don't usually get along. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I don't think that's true. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. Now, Scorpio is ruled by two plants. That's Mars and Pluto. So, Mars is the planet of aggression, and Pluto is the planet of dark, darkness. Not necessarily evil, 
or darkness okay um and scorpios they're very they have a bad rep they have a really bad rep they are called called liars like y'all are called liars y'all are called sneaky y'all are called um sexaholics and all that stuff and i'm just like y'all don't understand scorpio <laughs> y'all don't and i'm not gonna lie i used to call scorpio those those things all the time but that's that's not that's so far from the truth because the thing is is scorpio is actually very guarded because they they have emotional attachment to things to people to situations and they trust their instincts and not only do they trust their instincts they trust they gotta they gotta have trust in you like you gotta have trust in somebody i'm sorry the neighbors you have to have trust in somebody in order for you to form a friendship or emotional bond with someone they have to earn your trust first like you have to they have to make you feel comfortable enough to open up because scorpio sometimes like i said they can be guarded and they can be closed not even closed-minded they're very open-minded but because of the trust issue and the in the emotional attachment they don't tend to open up you know at first it probably takes a, a little while for a scorpio to open up to people um but they are good people as long as you don't cross them in any way because they believe in a thing called revenge that's why y'all got that that reputation that crazy reputation because y'all believe in that and i will dive more into that when we bring up mars okay and the anger and all that so you know come you know scorpio has to feel comfortable we have to like it's important for a person to make you feel as comfortable right in this bike i'm sorry it's important for the person to make you feel as comfortable as possible because you're already guarded and then once you have that emotional attachment with people that you consider to be a friend or a lover then it'll be like nothing for you to just be be yourself you know and you are being yourself it's just you're not being your full self you know so your moon is in Sagittarius and your moon is your emotions and your intuition so Sagittarius is a masculine sign its um, element is fire and the quality is mutable and its ruler is Jupiter Jupiter is the planet of optimism that's why they have that <clears throat> reputation of being optimistic at least most Sagittarius have that reputation not in me I know but whatever <laughs> it's polar opposite is Gemini and if I had to pick a word that describes Sag it would be honesty Sagittarius are very honest frank and honest they say if you want an opinion from a Sagittarius the Sag is not going to give you an opinion they're going to give you the brutal honest truth because that's what they're all based off of it's truth it's I'm not saying a Sagittarius can't lie or they don't lie rather because they do lie they're just not good at it like they 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 can't chill on the test and get away with it if they can then they must have water in their chart or air in their chart because they they can't do it but when it comes to emotions um Sagittarius are passionate people because they are a fire sign however they don't take anything serious kind of like Gemini like they don't really take things seriously they don't like when things get too serious so they kind of it's like they, they they tend to walk away from situations that are very intense and if they're angry they don't really take it out I mean not saying they don't take it out on people they do take it out on people but they don't really put their anger into it they take that anger and put it towards some good use and you know and with the lunar, the lunar eclipse being in Sagittarius um, that's the one thing that people preach is that there's gonna be a lot of aggression during this time especially now and we need to take that aggression and put it towards some good use you know not to tear each other down or tear, tear anything down we need to put it towards good use so, so Sagittarius is I know my one friend that was a Sag um, she will all she never really confronted anybody all she would do is just she would take her anger and put it towards her workout or put it towards her, her career or put it towards whatever it is that she's into at that time 
And that's what Sagittarius is do. They they don't they don't really they take their anger and put it towards good use. You know, if the situation is too intense, they're not gonna blow up. I mean, they may blow up at you, but they're gonna put it towards whatever. They're gonna put their anger towards whatever. So, you know, they they'll walk away from intense situations. Now, it's also Mercury. Your Sag, you know, the Sagittarius is also your Mercury. So, Mercury is for communication. And it kind of applies the same thing I just said. Sagittarius are like philosophers. They're like intellectuals. They're deep thinkers. Um, they're learners, also teachers. Um, they love to have debates. They love debating you. And it's kind of like with a Taurus, where it's like you can tell a Sag whatever, and a Sag is still going to stick with their, their beliefs. Um, they 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 get, they have the ability to understand other people's beliefs, though. However, but if they got proof, they're not they're not. There's no reason for them to to change their opinions. They are they have their own opinions. They have their own opinions, and they don't care who hates it or who loves it. Now the same thing, you know, when 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 a debate gets too intense and it turns into an argument then Sag is like, you know what, I'm, let's just agree to disagree because it's getting too intense here. They, they get crap for this because it's like, it looks like Sagittarius doesn't know how to communicate. No, they do like, they like to communicate, but when it's going too far, it's like, let's just take a breather here and let's just calm down and let's, let's, let's put our anger, let's, 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 let's use our anger to good use. You know, let's, let's not argue because that, that doesn't solve anything. So, you're probably somebody who likes to debate people, but when it's going, or, or have, have conversations with people, but when it's going too far, you're like, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here, because it's going too far. That's how Sagittarius is. They, they don't like to argue. They love to debate, but they don't like to argue. It's a difference. I'm being nosy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so your Venus is Virgo. Venus is how we love and how we want to be loved so it's in Virgo now Virgo is a feminine sign it's an earth sign I'm pretty sure you know that um <laughs> uh it's element I said that it's elements earth oh okay it's quality is mutable and it's polar opposites Pisces and the planet is Mercury which is the planet of communication Virgos I have nothing bad to say about Virgos Virgos are very humble they are loving they are grounded okay they are perfectionists now this is not a bad i don't think it's a bad thing but people think it's a bad thing which means when it comes to love you want the perfect lover it's like you're sculpting the perfect lover you know you want somebody that's just like virgo also when it comes to how you love you're more virgos are more they're people pleasers they're people pleasers and they will do whatever it is that they partner wants if they part if your partner wants you to get a haircut or if your partner not even tells you to get a haircut if your partner alludes to oh i like guys with haircuts because there is a guy one time i think he's actually in the industry he was growing he was growing um locks and he literally cut his locks off and because and i think well he's a leo virgo so he still has like that virgo energy but he cut his hair because the girl said she liked guys with low cuts. And that's what Virgo does. Virgo, Virgo will do whatever to make their partners happy. It makes them happy to see their partners happy. So that's how you are when it comes to love. How you want to be loved, well, you want the same thing. You know, you, you want your partner to be humble and grounded, not too flashy, you know. Not that Virgos can't be flashy, sky, <laughs> but, but, that that's not what they like that's not what they like they just want you to be yourself so okay so you're a sense you're a sensitive lover you're sensitive because virgos are sensitive so you're a very sensitive lover now let's get on to mars mars represents your aggression your work ethic sex just your drive so like i said scorpio this applies to all of them scorpio all, all the things i just listed Scorpio, since your Mars is in Scorpio, which that goes together, um, comfortable. You have to be comfortable in every situation because Scorpio will leave if they, if they don't feel comfortable. Um, when it comes to their work ethic, they tend, like I said, it's a fixed sign, so they know what they want. 
you know they know what they want trust in their gut and if for some reason they feel like they can't trust themselves then they'll leave you know because trust that's like a big factor for Scorpio okay um anger that's exactly what I was getting to Scorpio believes in revenge not saying you plot revenge on someone but you probably did and you didn't know it like for example getting somebody fired from them for their job uh, maybe stealing somebody's girlfriend not saying you did it but I'm just saying these are some of the things stealing somebody's girlfriend talking bad about somebody um, spreading rumors using that using that razor-sharp tongue because once you mess with a Scorpio that 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 stinger will sting people that's why you don't want to like double cross a Scorpio because once you double cross a Scorpio stinger stinger will get you so you you not want to play with now when it comes to sex y'all have a crazy reputation y'all are called sexaholics and this and that and y'all crazy and y'all dark we're not even gonna get into that because that could literally be anyone but when it comes to sex y'all are very emotional meaning you don't just not saying you can't casually hook up but you guys only tend to really hook up when there's an emotional attachment there even if the other person doesn't know it and that's y'all way of saying hey this is another way of me showing that i love you because i'm giving myself to you and when somebody turns down a scorpio oh my god that drives scorpio nuts because you know scorpio is like i'm giving myself to you and you're gonna turn me down you must not care about me you must not love me you know not saying you probably do it but that that's when people when i say scorpios take sex seriously my my one friend is a scorpio and he literally was like oh yeah we take sex seriously we're crazy but no i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the connection y'all take it seriously it's not like a playful sign like gemini or um sagittarius where we can have casual sex and there's no link there's no link because we don't look at sex that way we look at sex as it's just something you do for fun or a scorpio and Taurus, they look at it as no this is not something we do for fun this is serious or even virgo we're in love when we do it and then and there's 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 something there and this is just my way of showing how much i love you that's it so get that out your head that scorpio just has wild crazy sex not saying they don't but at the same time that's not what no that's no now your ascendant is leo now your ascendant or your rising sign is how you express your personality so it's leo so leo is a masculine sign its element is fire it is a fixed sign its polar opposite is aquarius um its planet is the sun what does the sun do give you life so leo is the life of the party the talk of the town leo is confident okay leo is bold Leo loves, they love themselves. Leos love themselves. You, they, you can't tell them any different. And they get a bad rep because they love themselves. And sometimes it comes off as cockiness, but it's not that. It can be, but not. Since your ascendant is Leo, that tells me that you're bold. When you express, your, express yourself, you're very bold. You don't care what people think. You're confident you are the life of the party and scorpios love the party so i mean like i said you're the life you, you you give life to the party you you make you when you like you when you walk into the room you light up the room all eyes are on you there are girls that love you and want to be with you and there are guys who are envy of you they're envious of you they're jealous so you have that type energy so Let's get on to the masculine and the feminine. Now, your masculine energy is lower than your feminine energy. This does not mean that you want to be a woman. I just want to clear, clarify that because that's not what this means. What this means, with it, masculine energy just means physical energy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The wind is blowing. Hold on. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Um, it's physical energy. And then your feminine energy is more emotional and mental energy. So, 
your masculine energy is three. So it tells me that you probably don't mind being active sometimes, but not all the time. You'd rather sit down and work on your craft or something. So you probably don't mind working at a job that requires you to like be physical all the time, but you're not really happy there. It's like, it's just one of those, this is one of those jobs where it's like, it's okay, but it could be better. You know, it'd be better if I could sit down sometimes. Um, your feminine energy is seven. So like I said, you're probably way more mental. And you're probably not, eh, you probably are a little bit more emotional. But definitely mental. You know, if you're into music and stuff, then you're, you're, you're definitely, you know, using a lot of emotions for that. Because music is, emo art is emotional. So, you know... And it's not, the, the, the goal is you want both of these to be balanced. And it's not a bad thing that it's not. But now you kind of know where you need to improve. Because also it tells me that, you know, you're probably, not saying you can't be aggressive or assertive. You probably are. But it's probably, you're probably way more passive than anything. You're probably passive aggressive, you know, instead of aggressive, aggressive, you know. Um, but that's your chart. That's you. So, um, I hope that resonates with you. Um, maybe a little bit. Hopefully it resonates a little bit, you know. But if you guys want your charts read, again, contact me. Everything's in the description box. Um, however, best way to reach me, that's how you reach me. Um, I will start posting prices at the end of the week so this is the last week that it will be free so anyway i see you guys and i see you guys bye